Hello, Robbie Lockman here with Harness. Today, we'll be taking a deeper dive into Amazon ECS Fargate. Amazon ECS stands for Amazon Elastic Container Services. If you've used ECS before, or if this is your first time, don't worry. Harness is here to make Amazon ECS and Amazon ECS Fargate extremely easy. We're looking at our Amazon ECS console. So currently, we have a Fargate cluster or a few Fargate clusters that are up and running and awaiting our workload. Now, what are we gonna be doing with these particular awaiting Fargate instances? Don't worry, Harness is here to help. Here we have our trusty Harness dashboard. Let's go ahead and kick off an ECS deployment and we'll go through what these, these steps particularly mean. I have one queued up here. And so as this deployment gets kicked off, Let's look at one that's been completed and take a look at the building blocks of this particular deployment that we're working on. Uh, this particular application was made by one of our esteemed sales engineers, Greg Crew. Amazon ECS and Amazon ECS Fargate launch types are native to the Harness platform. Here we have a simple but elegant workflow going through and upgrading the easiest deployment with another set of containers. And so we can take a look at the phases that we go through here. Now we have a two-stage approach, tying or leveraging and configuring the services and upgrading our containers, which is made extremely easy with Harness. Now let's take a look at the building blocks that helps create this. We can click on setup and go to our application and let's focus on the services and the environment. The environments would be the cloud infrastructure, the actual ECS endpoints. But first, let's look at the services. Here we have ECS Deploy. ECS Deploy is deploying HTTPD. But here we have our actual ECS task definition, which is the lifeblood of any ECS or Fargate deployment. We can create we can use a GUI inside of Harness to start building this out, or if we have a more complicated configuration, use an advanced configuration and paste the JSON in. Fantastic. Now that we have the deployable piece, let's take a look at the infrastructure which we deploy to. Here we have a few environments and a few stages, but we'll look at the production in our end state. We can actually quickly define an ECS cluster. Here is the cluster we're actually deploying to. And by looking at the configuration, once we enter our particular parameters and credentials, uh, we have a few ways in which we can provision. Um, and also we can pick if we're launching a, a Fargate launch type or an EC2 instance, which is the original ECS deployment. With those two particular pieces, you're well on your way on building a particular deployment, which can be extremely easy. Our deployment is still going on here, but if you'd like to learn more how to do this, feel free to contact at Harness or if you're doing some self-investigation, we have some excellent documentation talking about different types of deployment strategies instead of ECS. Here we have a blue-green deployment leveraging several pieces of Amazon infrastructure from ECS to ELBs. I hope this was helpful and thank you for watching your video and enjoying our series here at Harness.